one of the things I had to do was to monitor the breathing of the elephant when it was lying down. Because the moment they fall down and the trunk closes, then they can't breathe. And so you have to keep it up and hold it open. And then you hold your, you feel with your thumb usually, you can feel the air going in and you can also see by the line of its body moving up and down. Where you're touching its ears and, and feeling its breath on your hand. You realize the life within this animal, that it's not just an animal, there's a soul within that. And especially elephants, we all know all the legends about elephants. And, and so that connection that you make with that animal at that point, where, you, where you're standing and you can touch it and you feel the roughness of its skin. Yeah, it's incredible. It was really extraordinary traveling with these elephants in such close encounters. Sitting right next to the containers, one could hear them move and the low frequency sounds with which they communicate. Daylight brings a beautiful Angolan landscape into view, and the long flight is almost over. That something is wrong, dreadfully wrong. Hushed consultations take place. Slowly, the side panels of Elsa's container are opened. Looking in, we then saw that the landing was not so successful. Elsa fell down when the pilot hit the brakes and she suffocated under her own weight and she died. It was a hard blow to all of us. Who's grown close to this animal, formed a connection. She was she was the mother of our first family that we took to Angola. The first ever trip done. And she was now gone. In total, 15 elephants are released into the Kasama National Park during this first repopulation of the park. A younger cow with her calf is released. The team is hopeful she will replace Elsa as the matriarch. She wanders off into the Angolan bush accompanied by her calf and a young bull. For the first time in history, elephants have not only been successfully airlifted, but they've been airlifted between countries. Another young bull appears, but Tembe is rooted to his mother's side. So after some time, he eventually came out and then just ran off. Looking at him going into this new strange world without his mother, he was, he was just a picture of loneliness. And then and you think and you ask questions like, would he find the other elephants that's now long gone? And if he does, would they accept and adopt him?